So I'm back again for a quick lightning talk. Uh, after I saw Tim's talk on uh, CSS, I couldn't resist, and uh, I wanted to uh, add in um, a JavaScript uh, pranks demo for you guys. So if you can prank in CSS, we're gonna prank in JavaScript as well. So there's this website here I made. I'm gonna go over some of the code uh, with you guys really quickly. We can see how to troll in JavaScript. Okay, so um, this is very ad hoc, so apologies for the uh, informality of this. Okay, so uh, one thing you can do is some websites on the internet, they actually let you log out uh, the site with a get request. Um, so if you visit this UR these URLs here, you'll be logged out of those sites. Well, guess what? Any website on the internet can make get requests by putting those URLs into an image tag, and that will uh, log you out. So let's go ahead and iterate over this and just log you out of everything when you visit this site. Why not, right? Um, let's see. What else? Um, let's see. Okay, here's a good one. So, uh, no, sorry, it's down here. Uh, yes. Okay, this, is, this one is amazing. So when you link to a website and you add the uh, target uh, equals uh, blank, underscore blank, to the link, that opens the link up in a new tab. But it also sets a property called window.opener on that child window. And that property is a reference back to the parent window that opened you. And using that reference, you can set window.opener.location and navigate the window that linked to you. So, for example, you send a link to this site to your friends in, me in uh, Facebook Messenger, and uh, the site you land on navigates the Facebook Messenger window to the same troll site, so it takes over the other tab. Pretty cool. Um, this is a standard troll trick, so uh, this one lets you um, confirm that the user really wants to leave the website that they're, that they're on, so when they try to close the tab, they have to see another prompt window. Um, here's another good one. Let's register every protocol handler that we can in the browser, um, so when you click on these links, um, it will try to redirect you to this site. Um, this one has a permission prompt, so it's not that effective, but uh, you can try to do it anyway. Um, while we're at it, let's try to get access to the camera and the mic. Basically, we're just putting everything we can into this site, just all the APIs. Let's just try to just do everything we can. Um, oh, this is a good one. Did you know if you call window.navigator.vibrate, you can make uh, Android phones vibrate? And there's no permission required for that. So let's just vibrate the phone randomly. Why not? Um, let's intercept every click and key press. Uh, let's so use uh, Safari picture-in-picture -picture video uh, when you click on the page. Uh, let's focus, oh, let's open a bunch of pop-up windows and bounce them around the screen. Um, let's focus those windows every time you interact with any of the windows. Let's hide the mouse cursor with, C with a CSS rule so you don't know where the mouse is, so it's hard to go and close the windows. Let's trigger a file download every time you click on anything. Why not? Um, this is the code to move the window around. This is a code to play videos inside the pop-up windows. Um, how much time do I have? Uh, you've got a clock in front of you. 1.45. Well, okay, I'm going to save the last minute to demo it. Uh, okay, every time you click, we can copy stuff to your clipboard. So let's copy an ASCII picture of a cat, and that's right here, one of these cats. Copy it to your clipboard, along with a link, handy link to this website. So when you uh, paste it in uh, by accident to your friends, it'll get, it'll get spread further. Um, and what else do I got to show? Um, there's a few more things. Oh, show with some alerts. Let's request full screen. So on and so forth. Anyway, you get the idea. Let's see it in action. Okay, this is Safari. We're gonna go to theannoyingsite.com. Okay, oh, some files are being downloaded. Do I, am I sure I wanna give camera access to the site? Okay, don't allow. Okay, all right, we're good. I'm gonna try to click on this cat. Oh no, oh no, what's going on here? Okay, let me just leave the page. Okay, now I'm in full screen mode. I, I don't know what's going on. Let me close this window, leave page. I have some pop-ups flying around. <laughs> let me try to close these. If you accidentally click on the window, then it, it alerts so that a cat comes up. And then it also does a picture-in-picture full-screen video over here um, in the OS. If you try to close that, then, okay, it goes back. Uh, if you try to hit Command-W to close a window, it triggers a print dialog window. So actually, it intercepts the Command-W, you can't close the window. Um, the X button is also uh, removed here. Okay, let's try again, Command-W, oh no. Basically, the, the, the moral of the story is, the web platform is very powerful and it lets you do very many things.
And oh yeah, this is a good one. This one does Bing searches for very uh, intimidating uh, terms, and it does them over HTTP. Well, actually, I guess it's HTTPS, but it tries to do it over HTTP so that it'll get added to your. Uh, uh, oh yeah, it also gets added to your web history. So you go uh, history, and all those searches, like why do I always have diarrhea, for example, is added to your web history. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's my talk. Thanks.